So tell me, on a scale of one to ten, what's Anna's mood like today? I don't know. What did you do? Nothing. I'm just wondering, you know, ten being cheery, one being not. I'm not at work. But if I had to guess, I'd say she's not happy about Anthony being missing and possibly dead. I can't say that I'm happy about it either, especially since I know he is most definitely dead. We settled this. I know. I can't tell anyone, especially not my cop husband or Anthony's grandson. Well, he doesn't know won't hurt him or me or Tracy. Yeah, well, I took a personal day so I wouldn't have to go into work and lie to my husband. Well, that's a very good reason for playing hooky. Well, it actually gives me a chance to look over the star's books. There's a real estate agent who called me last night with a client who might be interested. Metal rust bucket? Who? Oh. No idea. You want me to sit in? No, I got it covered. Besides, you have your own problems to deal with. And here comes one of them now. Good luck with the sale. Oh, gee, that's a terrible picture of Anna. She should sue. I didn't think it was so bad. Any progress in uh, finding my worthless husband or his killer? Not that I've heard. Well, the good news is we have been eliminated as suspects. In the eyes of the police commissioner. I'm not so sure about Johnny Zagara. We're not open. Oh, come on. Do you have time for an old friend? Not if he's looking for trouble. If you're looking for him. I am. Wouldn't mind having a couple of words with him. I do have some questions about what happened at the quarter main boathouse. I know that you're worried about Anthony. You more than anybody know how I feel about him. He made your life hell. I would still like to find him, even if it means just to bury him. So, wow, that sounds like you're preparing for the worst. I showed up at my place freaked out. He had overheard Tracy and your father plotting to kill him. And now he's disappeared, and they were caught trying to stash a gun? Well, that does not make them guilty. You can't tell me you actually believe that, Lulu. I don't have to. I know for a fact. Didn't do anything to Anthony? No. So, if you don't mind, I'm busy. Please, Lulu, my grandfather's missing. I know you know something about it. I did not kill Anthony Zagara. But... But I might as well have, as far as the law is concerned. The keys are as dead as a doornail. And unfortunately, I misplaced the corpse. I don't know what's happened to Anthony, okay? Neither does my dad. You have a tendency to give your father the benefit of every doubt. To believe in him, even when you know he doesn't deserve it. You know what? My dad does a lot of crazy stuff. He takes risks, he gets in trouble, but he's not a murderer. Sorry, Lulu. You may be able to take your father's word on that, but I can't. Johnny, I know you hate Anthony, but I also know how much you love him, so I'm sorry that you're hurting. The times I swore I'd walk away from Anthony and I never could. <laughs> now that he's disappeared, I can't just pretend like it didn't matter. Okay. But you can let the police handle it. What? Put on my thumbs the whole time? You start moving forward. And you figure out what life looks like without Anthony in it. If he's dead. If he's dead. This is your chance. This is a fresh start. Yeah. Well, I'm here. What do you mean? The agent didn't call you? Agent? I'm the one who wants to buy the star. You want to buy the haunted star. Why do you sound so surprised? I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Come on. It's not like it's unfamiliar territory. I was part owner before. Yeah, and as I remember, you only invested in this place so you could use it to launder money. Oh, not me. That was my grandfather, and since he's possibly no longer a factor. Okay, well, I just don't see why you need this place. You still have Vaughn's. No, I don't. Not anymore. I'm out of that business for good. Really? Really. I'm done objectifying women. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> what gave you that revelation exactly? Carly. It happened when she took me back. Did what? You've always wanted to get out from your grandfather and figure out who you are and... 
what you want, and oh, I think it's starting to happen. I'm trying. I can tell. You seem different. Kind sure. of a little like a new person. Good. So, does that mean we have a deal? Understand what you want with the place. Is this part of your amends that you present this as your personal love boat to Carly? <laughs> no, I'm thinking of a club, a legitimate one. Okay, live music, dancing, drinks. What? I've considered that. Okay. So maybe I will still do that. It takes a lot of capital to get a club up and running, though. You're gonna need cash, something I happen to have a lot of. You're not suggesting. Come on, if you're serious about this, why don't we go in together? You want a business with me? Come on, what else are you doing right now? I have a job! Yeah, for you're one. pushing files at the PCPD. When Lulu, I remember, she wanted more out of life. She was smart, passionate, imaginative. Plus, it's in your blood, right? Yeah. I mean, didn't Luke run a blues club? Deal. So, what? No. Uh, no, I was just expecting more of a fight is all. Well, you'll get one if you try and run a scam out of here. Everything above board. I'm starting a new, a new life, remember? You better be. So we're doing this? <laughs> we're doing this. Wow, all right. Well, congratulations, Lulu. You just got yourself a new partner. Here's your set of keys, right. partner. Thank you. Um, do you want to help me lock up? I'm actually going to stay here, if you don't mind. Work on some ideas for the club. Feel free. All right. I'm excited about this. Me I too. think this could be the start of something. Yeah, for both of us. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lulu. Bye, Johnny. Finally. Did I say I wasn't interested? You didn't say anything. I just don't want to jump the gun, so to speak. When did you become so cautious? Better cautious than convicted. And cut me a little slack here. I mean, even you said it was out of left field. I need time, you know, to ruminate. So ruminate on this. That is not enough food for thought. How about this? <laughs> mm. What was that? So totally unexpected. It's fast. I was nearby. Why did you want to see me? It's my new club. Where we're going to do your recording. You may even perform here. Seriously? Yeah, what do you think? It's nice. I'm not interested in nice. The place needs a facelift. I got to call it to my contractors. But come on, it's going to be incredible, right? Hottest ticket in town. What's it called? Haunted Star. That's kind of sick, huh? <laughs>